What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Magazine video. In this video, I'm building a metal lathe stand for my new Precision Matthews PM 1022V metal lathe. But you could certainly use this stand for a wood lathe as long as it would fit, or you can just adjust the proportions to suit your needs. This lathe stand is constructed completely from three quarter inch plywood. I'm using more of the Pure Bond plywood that I've used before. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, formaldehyde free, just really high quality stuff. It is only available at Home Depot, so if you don't have a Home Depot in your area, you're kind of out of luck there. I also used a little bit of hardwood trim, but uh, this was mostly just plywood. The first step in this project was breaking down the plywood. I've provided a cut list and cutting diagram in the build article. The link is in the description. I was in a bit of a rush and managed to ignore my cutting diagram. So I had to get a little creative with the cuts. I ended up having to buy a few extra pieces of wood from my local home center. But if you follow the cut diagram, you can build this from about a sheet and a half of four by eight plywood plus a little bit of trim. So after having a small conniption, I forged ahead and finished breaking down the plywood with a combination of my table saw and miter saw. After cutting all the pieces to final size, I began laminating them. This entire stand is built using laminated pieces of three quarter inch plywood. Basically, I glued two pieces of plywood together to make very strong boards. I did this for every part of this project to make it totally bomb proof. To laminate the pieces, I just applied a coat of Type Bond 3 and then used brad nails to hold the pieces together. I added some weights on top of the pieces for about an hour to let the glue set up a little bit. Also, the reason I look a little confused here is because I originally planned on having two single layer shelves instead of one double layer shelf, and I added a bunch of glue to one of the shelves before realizing my error, so I just went with it. I updated the SketchUp file to reflect this final version of the project. I'm also loving my new electric nailers. I don't own a compressor, I've never used an electric nailer before, and I'm just loving the portability of these units. So the whole build is held together with pocket holes. I probably went a little overboard with my pocket holes but the lathe weighs close to 400 pounds so I didn't want it buckling under the weight. I attached the side aprons to the legs with pocket holes, the top to the aprons with pocket holes, and then the shelf to the legs with pocket holes. I added plenty of glue along the way as well. I was basically building this stand to be as bomb proof as possible and also any play in a metal lathe stand can really affect the lathe's accuracy so that was something I wanted to avoid as well. Also, this little trick of using the clamps as a kind of shelf to, to rest the piece on while you're getting it attached worked really nice. I had never done that before. I saw it on some YouTube video. I can't remember what, but uh, that worked out great. So after assembling the structure, I added some hardwood trim. I used just some select pine from the local hardwood store. I mitered the corners for the top trim, but this is purely aesthetic. If you don't feel like dealing with miters, you certainly don't have to. This is actually my first time mitering corners for trim, and I was really happy with how it turned out. I cleaned up and chamfered the edges with a little block plane from H&T Gordon. They're an Australian-based plane manufacturer. This thing was just a pleasure to use. Just an absolute beautiful tool. I'm going to be using it quite a bit in the future. Next, I cut two pieces of quarter-inch plywood to use as a backing board. I had this as scrap from a previous project, so I just doubled up the pieces just like the rest of the project. But you could probably get away with one layer. Uh, this backing board adds lateral stability to the stand while also keeping your tools from falling off the back of the shelf. I attached the backer board with screws rather than nails to improve the stability. I added some more hardwood trim around the front edges of the stand as well. Again, this is mostly aesthetic, but the edges of plywood don't wear particularly well. They're kind of prone to splitting and they're pretty weak, so best to do that when you can. Up for the feet, I added some hardwood scraps from the trim and did the same thing I did in the miter saw stand that I built previously using T-nuts and carriage bolts as leveling feet. After installing the feet, I marked the holes that the lathe is mounted to the bench through and drilled them out with a Forstner bit. I used the holes in the chip tray that came with the lathe to lay out the holes. Next, I sanded the entire stand with 120 grit sandpaper to remove any rough edges. I'm not really concerned about looks here. This is mainly just to avoid splinters and that kind of thing. 
And finally, I finished the stand with Minwax Aerosol Spray Lacquer. I put on three coats uh, as they recommend and basically just followed the instructions on the can to the T. The conditions were really ideal for this, about 70 degrees and sunny. I tried to stay about a foot away from the surface and do overlapping passes. Basically everything they recommend on the can and was really not happy with the final surface finish that it left. Uh, it almost felt like a sandpaper. That's, that's how rough it was. So won't be using this again. I'm actually planning on picking up an HVLP system, which is a high volume, low pressure system. It's basically for spraying finishes. Finishing is currently one of my least favorite parts of woodworking, and I'm hoping HVLP will help. All right guys, so this is the finished lathe stand here. Obviously haven't gotten the lathe on top of it yet. As I said, it weighs around 360 pounds. So I have a Harbor Freight shop crane uh, coming to help me get it on top of the stand. I don't wanna just try to muscle it up there with another guy cause I don't wanna uh, make the bed get out of alignment or anything like that. So I really wanted to be kind of nicely lowered onto the stand. So uh, it came out really nice. I think it's gonna hold just fine. Uh, my wife and I sat on top of this thing together and just kinda moved around, tried to make it rack or, or anything like that and it was totally solid. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping it works out. If I do feel like there's any kind of play or anything like that, I'll let you guys know. Uh, if that ends up happening, I'll probably just use this for a wood lathe uh, that I might be picking up here in the near future. But I'm really excited to add some more metalworking content to the channel. Uh, obviously I have the metal lathe now, so we're gonna be adding some machining stuff. And also I'm taking a welding class right now at a local tech college. It's like a 12 week long course. So I have a multi-process welder on the way from Lincoln and electric so we'll definitely be adding some welding content and also I've been working on some blacksmithing stuff I, I took a blacksmithing class at the same tech college last semester and have a little propane forge set up here so I plan to add a lot more metal work. Uh, I think that that is a really cool kind of genre of stuff. And I think it could really add to a lot of my woodworking stuff. So uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that content and, and stick around and, and check it out. So um, thanks for watching everybody. Again, thank you as always for the continued support. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Uh, we put out new videos every Monday. And if you want to support us further, we do have a Patreon page set up it's a easy way for you guys to support us and kind of help keep projects like this going so uh, thanks again for watching and until next time happy building